Ben Cheyenez will start in goal because Kaylin Sheridan serving a suspension due to a red card in the last game. Abby Dahlkemper gets her first start. Nyswagler and Bruninha are very advanced attacking outside backs. They'll leave space in behind them. Remember that. Dahl Kemper. What a weapon that is. She has such wonderful delivery up the field. And you know, San Diego, the way they play, would love to have had that last season. A little more than they've been able to. And she's gone long a few times. So I wonder how that then opens up some spaces for Doherty Howard or Cola Prico to then pick up the ball. As Gotham backs up, there's going to be spaces in between the lines. No whistle there as Morgan goes down, but Shaw still keeping the play alive. It is off the bar and in. San Diego strikes first. It's Doniak to put the wave out in front. Trying to get the ball here. Thinks she gets fouled, but everybody else kind of stops, but Jaden Shaw doesn't stop. She continues on the play, finds a perfect pass into the, the six-yard box. And here is Doniak. That's a difficult angle. She's past the near post and yet still gets her foot around it. It's choppy. It's just a little quick. Three goals directly off of corner kicks. So she can set it up and she can put it away. A little low on the delivery this time. Perhaps where she wanted it. Side netting. Two goals straight off a corner. Just a little bit different to this attacking line. Hill getting on the end of it. Shaw picks it back up. One touch back to Hill. Morgan! Abby Smith coming out strong. But watch Jaden Shaw. She comes near because nobody's in that near space. Just happens to come to her. This ball into the back post. Already for the wave and can get so much better still. Hogarsh will have a chance to serve this in. And that does go out off of Gotham. It'll be a corner kick for San Diego. Their first of the match coming in stoppage time here the first half. And they're without what, their big target in Taylor Korniak, who is unavailable tonight. Jaden Shaw loves to play this in, in swinger, kind of between the, the middle of the goal and the back post. Ball from Shaw, Morgan. That Snapdragon. What a pass. What can Shaw do with it? Given some space. What a ball! Hill into the goal. Will the flag stay down? Everybody looking to the assistant referee, but Rachel Hill is celebrating an absolutely... Jen, don't take it away from us. It's the right scene. She threads the needle here, does Jaden Shaw. The texture on this, it it does it allows him. And interesting, just saw one of the center backs, Lopez, number 77, come up. Sheehan on it in the box in front of the goal! Nearly identical, and now it's put away to the way that Doniak scored off the bottom of the crossbar. Or here's the overload or, on this side. Doniak gets the ball, and she, or, excuse me. Doniak scored earlier. This is Sheehan for Gotham. Just barreling through a couple players. I love this determination from her. It's one player, it's two. She stays with it, goes through the goalkeeper. There might be an issue there. Possession 62% in favor of Gotham in this match. And Farley on the ball, on the attack. Yasmeen Ryan trying her luck. That's a little thing, but that shows you what Abby Dahlkemper can do defensively. Because Still up for grabs now. Stengel trying to make something of it. Good play. Back to this side. Yasmeen Ryan in some space. Cuts it to her left. Save. Yanez in the first time really all night that she's had to be called into action. Exciting young player. Her second year in the league, Amira Ali. You're right, Pogar, you can see right in the bottom of your screen there, just barely making her way off. Had been receiving some treatment, just looks completely exhausted. And 
Gotham has been playing predominantly down this right side, the left side for San Diego. So Pogarsh has been doing a lot of defending, a lot of hard cutting. Shea Cortez, the other substitution for San Diego, number 46, onto the field now, replacing Pogarsh. Hill came off to make way for Ali. A chance in the middle. Right into the match. Will it go into the goal? You better believe it. Amira Ali off the bench, making an impact and adding some insurance for the wave. Side back and she just loses track of Ali. It's Caruso who gets the touch, Barcenas who plays it through. And here is just the poise from Amira Ali. Just her first three touches while she makes some count. Goes right around the goalkeeper. Finishes it. You can see what it means to her. Second goal on the year for her, but a big one for San Diego who have been. And it looked good there for a moment, except for it looked like the players in the front maybe just a little unsure of themselves in terms of where to go, how to combine and connect. That was odd. <laughs> Player coming back onto the field who apparently had to go off and get her head wrapped up. Nice wonger. I wanted more out of that ball. And now the shot. Second shot on goal of the match for Gotham, but we are nearing the end of regulation. And once she is fully cleared, then we will resume and I I don't have it in my notes if Neely Martin has ever stepped in goal before. Farley. O'Hara. Stangle! Oh, how did that not cross the line? The far side. As this ball gets played in by O'Hara, it's a great ball. She's backtracking, but that tuck coming for San Diego. The wave quickly got these fans used to winning with what they did last year. Best ever finish by a first year club in the NWSL. Finishing third, going to the playoffs. On a mono, keeping it alive, Sango! Not over yet. There can't be but seconds remaining, but there goes the shutout.